Historically, man has looked to the sky with curiosity. We've even built stunning telescopes which track the night sky, seeking for answers. One of the greatest exponents of such research is certainly NASA. Today we are at one of its locations in Spain, to present a tool that any amateur could have at home. Of course, we don't mean the colossus behind us, but the National Geographic 702, a wide field expert, computerized telescope, which is ideal for beginners, or simply as a second telescope for trips, developed by Brussels manufacturer who makes it available for us. This telescope has an achromatic refractor optical tube which does not require maintenance. A computerized mount with go-to system. A new ultra-wide LCD handbox computer. and a light portable tripod, including a IPC tray. The following accessories are also included. Two eyepieces, 10 and 20 mm, moon filter, compass and lever, rotatable star map, and a CD with astronomy software that we'll try later. Now that we are familiar with the telescope, let's see its advantages over other products on the market. As a very good value, for your money. A handbox computer in five languages. Can be used with or without a tripod on any smooth surface. Very easy to transport. A database of 272,000 astronomical objects, up to 6 times more objects than other high-end equipment. All with low battery consumption. Easy to use thanks to the new and large LCD controller, which greatly simplifies the parameters to be introduced. Go to system that allows to add each object as an additional parameter in order to improve the setting up. It is very bright thanks to its focal ratio f5, which makes it particularly suitable for viewing large nebulae, galaxies and clusters. In these examples from Stellarium, you can see display simulations of how you can observe some objects in the sky. Remember, you cannot use it to directly observe the sun, since your sight could be permanently damaged. It is quiet compared to others with similar configuration. Once analyzed, let's see how to use it. First, we unlock the altitude axis, placing the tube parallel to the ground and retighten. Second, we move the tube in azimut to place it oriented to the north. Once the bubble is perfectly centered and the compass north oriented, we lock again the azimut axis. The third step is to remove the compass replacing it by an eyepiece. Let's start with the laser magnifier, the 20mm one. Afterwards, we turn on the mount and start on the 1.7 version from the GOC manufacturer. Now we are going to set the main parameters. The first ones are the year, month and day. Once the date is completed, we scroll down to set the hours, minutes and seconds. The next question is whether we are in daylight saving. 
if we are in winter, will press off. Following, we have to introduce the country and city, or if preferred, the coordinates of our location in the bottom part. In this case, we are going to go with the country and city. We are in Spain, so we look for it. Once selected, we can choose between Barcelona or Madrid. Using the right arrow, we select Madrid and press Enter. It is time to introduce the altitude and azimuth parameters. We are going to set both of them to zero, as we previously placed the telescope parallel to the ground and oriented to the north. The following task is to align the telescope. We select alignment, we choose two stars and search for a star that we know. Once chosen, we press enter. The telescope will move towards the object's altitude and azimuth. Then we center the object in the eyepiece and press enter. The second tracking star selection shows on screen. We select another bright star that we know and press enter. The telescope moves again in altitude and azimuth to find the chosen star or nearby. We center the star as we did with the previous one and press enter when done. The telescope has been aligned. Now with the central yellow cursor we go to the navigation menu. We choose the desired object. If for example we want to observe a measure object, the 42 for instance, which is the Orion Nebula, we introduce it and press enter. Then, the telescope moves towards the object. And once the object has been centered, we just need to focus it. If we now want to find the measure 2, it is indicated to be below the horizon line. Therefore, we have to look for an object that is within our reach in today's sky. Let's find a new object, this time from the solar system. As we have Jupiter in opposition, let's find it! The telescope starts moving, looking for Jupiter's right position. For this, we recommend changing the eyepiece to the 10mm one. Continue in the following menu to choose one of the five available languages. This telescope has the ability to improve its setting up by adding fourth, fifth, six objects within the calibration of our device. To do so, we shall go to the alignment and synchronization menu. As a reminder, these are the steps that we went through in order to do the telescope's setting up.
We part from NASA facilities in Robledo de Chabela. It is now time to start observing the sky by yourself with this telescope National Geographic 70 Go 2.